Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video of The Acquiring 2022. Um, first thing that I got, it's not the thing that I just played, but is a Doug Elliott mouthpiece. There it is. I got another mouthpiece. Um, this is to go with the multiple medium board trombones that I have on the way. Yes, I have two 525 instruments, presumably in the mail, presumably on the way to me right now. And somehow the mouthpiece for them got here first. So I just have this sitting around. It's an XTE cup with the E4 shank. It's what Doug recommends for uh, medium bores. Um, and it's got another uh, narrow 104 rim, which I, I kind of wanted because I have one for my small tenor, but my backup mouthpiece has a smaller mouth, uh, smaller rim. And I'm glad that I now have that. And someday I'll get to play it. I'm very excited. It's kind of a Bach 5GS size, I would say. So basically exactly what you would want for medium board tenor. Anyway, the piece de resistance, the Joseph Lidl Berno uh, B-flat bass trumpet uh, with piston valves. Is there anything else I need to say about it? No, it's a bass trumpet and it's a B-flat. It's got three valves and I finally have a freaking bass trumpet. It's taken me so long to get one. I've wanted one for a long time um, and like right when I wanted them, they became expensive and I've just never had the money or the inclination to spend a ton of money on a bass trumpet. You can buy a used con or a Bach for like three grand. No, I'm not going to do that. You can buy a brand new Leish or a Tyne for eleven or twelve thousand dollars. Even though they're very good, no, I'm not going to do that. You can get a Chinese instrument for about five hundred bucks. They're pretty awful. Um, I don't even know what they're patterned after, but they're really bad. They're just like not good instruments. So no, I'm not going to buy one of those either. Um, but this company existed, no longer does, um, and sold these brand new, I think in the United States for like 500 bucks. They were very cheap um, and actually not bad. I'm not sure why they were so cheap. Some people seem to think they're not very good. Uh, maybe I got a really good one, I'm not sure. Um, but it's quite a good instrument. Um, for one, it's got some features that I wouldn't expect on a cheap, crappy instrument. Um, it's got valves, cool, that's a that's a definitely a feature. I've got a nice first valve kicker here, um, and the slides actually move pretty well. It's not amazing, but I feel like I probably use that in performance. Um, the, the third valve slide also comes out nice and easily. The first valve slide also has an extension on the end, so I can tune the first valve a little bit lower than it is without just kicking it out all the time. So that's actually a pretty advanced little feature. All of the tubing, all of the uh, slide tubing is nickel silver, which is super rare on this kind of stuff. Usually that's just brass because the brass is way cheaper. So all nickel silver uh, slide tubing, got a spit valve for the main tuning slide and one for the third valve tuning slide. Sadly, no uh, spit valve for this, so you do have to uh, Bit the big old flippy flip every once in a while to get rid of the spit that's in it. Um, of course, small shank receiver, it seems a little smaller than usual, but it fits a mouthpiece, so it's the right taper at least. Um, and something I've talked about in my other bass trumpet videos is that uh, they're just trumpets actually. The, uh, the bore size, the tuning slide right here, the valves, all that stuff is literally trumpet parts. They are not any larger than trumpet parts. Some of the stuff is longer, like the lead pipe. The valve tuning slides are all double the length, of course, but they're literally trumpet parts and trumpet uh, sized bores and stuff. Obviously it ends up being nine feet long. The bell ends up being larger, but a lot of the stuff is just trumpet sized. So the blow is not open. It's not like you would expect from even valve trombone, marching baritone, uh, flugabone, any of that kind of stuff is larger and kind of uh, quote unquote easier to play. This is an instrument that you finesse. You play with it rather than against it because it's not going to respond if you just throw a bunch of air at it. Um, like I said, it takes a small mouthpiece. I'm using my 7C in it right now. It's probably better with something even smaller. Right now I can't really play anything smaller. So that's, that's the choice. And of course I've had like two hours to play it and I have no bass trumpet gigs coming up um, at the moment but it's pretty great. It makes a real bass trumpet sound, which should be basically just kind of a fat trumpet sound. Not 
anything close to trombone um, or even valve trombone, any of that kind of stuff, it makes a trumpet sound. So kind of a little bit thin, a little bit smaller, not a lot of warmth going on. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. And this seems to deliver that in spades. I've played some other piston uh, B flat bass trumpets in the last few years, and some of them play pretty well. Some of them have really bad intonation and stuff. Um, and I enjoy playing them, but like the can stool that I borrowed most recently, the silver plated one, you can see a video of it on my channel. Um, it played pretty well, had some weird tuning things, and did not, to my ears, sound very much like bass trumpet. It had just a little too much uh, of a broad sound. I think the valve section was a little too big, and it just, I wouldn't buy one, um, especially at the price that they were, probably like $3,000. Uh, this is way closer to that bass trumpet sound that I have in my head, and all in, because I'm probably not gonna sell this for a long time, it was like 900 bucks. Bought it from Germany, and including the shipping everything, I think was a little less than 900 bucks. So, very happy, I got a pretty gosh darn good, in immaculate condition, by the way, Lidl bass trumpet, I'm very excited to not play very often, but noodle on it and get better at the bass trumpet sound and hopefully someday actually get called for it. So yay, finally got a bass trumpet. That's it. Um, more of the uh, uh, the uh, acquiring later. That's all I got. Bye-bye.